What up folks, it's Alex here. I'm back again today with another DaVinci Resolve video. Now, the last video proved quite popular, so we're expanding on that, and here is five more of my favorite top tips to help you work quickly and effectively in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get to it, shall we? Whoosh. So the first thing we're gonna have a look at is this thing here, it's your keyboard. There's a couple of really handy little shortcuts which I use all the time when I'm editing my videos. So the first thing we're gonna have a look at is Control and B. Now what this does is it cuts. So move your marker on your timeline to any point, click on a video clip and then hit Control and B. And you'll cut that video clip exactly on your marker. Now using Control B is much easier than right clicking or changing your cursor. Once you get used to it, you can cut videos up really quickly and it just helps you moving around resolve. Now the next one is the space bar. This one's really obvious, but if you hit space, the video clip will play, and then if you hit space again, it will pause. This, combined with Control B, is a really helpful way of playing until you get to a point where you think I need to cut, pause it, Control B, play again. It's a really easy way to review and to cut clips. Next one is the arrow keys. The right arrow key moves the clip forward one frame. The left arrow key moves it back a frame. The up arrow key goes to the previous clip or the start of the current clip. The down arrow key moves to the next clip. The other quick trick here is if you hold right on a keyboard, the clip will play at a regular speed because it'll be going from frame to frame to frame. But it's a really useful way to make minor movements to find the exact point where you wish to make a cut. And again, we can combine all of these. I can hit play until I get to roughly the point that I know I want to cut. I can pause, I can skip forward a couple of frames, I can hit control and B to do a cut, space bar again to play. Once you've reviewed and added some cuts to your timeline, you're then probably going to want to delete some video clips. Now there's two different types of delete within DaVinci Resolve. There's a regular delete and then there's a ripple delete. Regular delete is your backspace, ripple delete is the delete button. So I'm going to give you an example here. If I hit the backspace button while selecting this clip, the clip will be deleted and there'll be a big empty space in the timeline where that deleted clip previously was. However, if I do the exact same thing again, highlight the video clip, but this time I'm going to hit delete, the clip will be deleted and the gap will be filled with all the video clips after the deleted clip, so it fills in the space for you. What's important to bear in mind is it will do that for the whole timeline, so everything at that point in time on the timeline, if you delete the clip, will be erased as everything comes together. So here's an example. If I show this, if I put this video clip above this one, now if I want to delete this clip here, if I hit delete, everything gets moved to the left, just fill in the, fill in the space, and then you get an overlap. However, if I highlight this clip and then just hit the backspace, it deletes the clip without moving anything else, so then we get a seamless transition from this clip to this clip. Now you can use ripple delete along with the control B to really quickly cut up a long clip into just the sections that you want to keep. So if we have a look at this video here, but if I move along the video, hitting control B to make some cuts and anything that I don't want, I'm just gonna drag upwards onto the video track two and everything that I want to keep is gonna remain on video track one. So I'm going to do some more cuts here, I'll move that one up, get that one out of the way, and there we go. Everything on video track 1 I want to keep, everything on video track 2 I want to get rid of, but I don't want these empty spaces. So I highlight everything on video track 2, and then I'm just going to hit delete, which is your ripple delete. Those clips are deleted and all the gaps are automatically filled in on track one so I don't have to bother dragging everything and moving anything to fill in the gaps. Video in video. Sometimes when you're making videos for YouTube, especially tutorials just like this one, 
you may want to have a video within a video. Now the second clip running within your main clip. Maybe it's to show a bit of B-roll, maybe it's to show an interview or just someone talking as an overlay. Now that again is dead easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. All I'm gonna do is grab my clip, which I want as my secondary, as my, my video within the video. I'm gonna drag that to video two, so to a separate track. I'm gonna put it above where I want it. Let me just trim that. So now if I was to hit play, this clip would play. And then because this clip is above this one, this is the video that you're gonna actually see. Now I don't want that, I want that to be the clip within the clip. This button here, there's an option to transform. So I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna click on my video and you get the frame around the video with these points on each of the corners. And I'm gonna drag my bottom left and you can see it will shrink it and it will reveal the clip on video one because that's underneath it. I can drag this to the bottom left hand corner, let's say about there. If I scrim back and hit play, when it reaches this point, both video clips will play, but this one will be in the corner of the other one. So that'll be my clip within a clip, my video within a video, my picture in picture, whatever you want to call it. The thing to bear in mind, as you can see, you end up with two audio tracks. So make sure to delete one of the audio tracks so you don't have overlaying audio. So if I highlight the video, which is the picture within the picture, it will also highlight the linked audio. Now, if we try and delete this audio, it will delete both the video and the audio because they're linked. This icon here, it's like the little chain. If I tick that or click that so it's no longer highlighted in white, I can select this audio clip here and it won't select the video clip that's related to it. I can then hit regular delete, don't hit ripple delete because then you'll, you'll delete everything at that point. So backspace, that will delete just that audio clip. I then turn on the linked selection because it's much easier to have on generally speaking. And there we go. We've got the two video clips, picture in picture with only one audio track. Now my last tip for the day comes when rendering. Now let's say that I've done a bunch of work and I've got a bunch of different clips that I want rendering. So I want them to just go one after another. So let me just give this a new name. Add to the render queue. There we go, I've got two clips. Now if I highlight job one and hit start render, just job one will be rendered. Job two, just job two. Now you can either click your mouse and drag, so both images are selected and then hit start render, or if you click anywhere in this empty space here, so none of the jobs are selected and then hit start render, you'll see down the bottom it says rendering in progress one of two jobs. Both the jobs or anything within the render queue will be rendered one after another. And that's a nice easy way to render multiple clips in one go. And that's it, but I seem to have lost all the daylight as I was recording this. I chose a terrible time to start this video. So my daylight went, so I had to switch to these lights. So apologies if the lighting's terrible. Hopefully that was useful. Hopefully that'll make working with DaVinci Resolve that little bit easier. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Pop a comment below if there's anything else you'd like to see, anything I'm gonna help you with at all, and I'll do my best to make it for you. And I will see you next time.